the, the shadow comes. It's like, you can feel it. <laughs> that ain't right. It's messy. He's just the best. It's so wrong. Right. And yet, it's so right. Here we go. We're getting ready to react to the official trailer of season four of The Chosen. Darkness is not the absence of light. It is more uncontrollable and sinister. You were there, waiting. Because the darkness is not dark to you. At least, not always. The colors remind me of, if you've been to Masada, mm. Mm -hmm. they have those sim that same red. Interesting. I realize this isn't a Herodian <laughs> uh, site, but it seems like they got a little bit of a inspiration mm -hmm. from, we know this color was a part of mm. the uh, first century reality. Yeah. I also feel that it gives you a dramatic presentation of Caesarea Philippi here, yeah. which feels, I, I think, a lot like it, it could have been. Mm -hmm. The coming darkness was too deep for us to grasp. It would appear that we now want the same thing as Pilate. Senior leaders in every district should question and expose Jesus. I think this is hard to watch. Yeah. Where you see the religious leadership of Israel mm -hmm. turn against Yeshua. Right. And right. I think this is like heartbreaking. For sure. To actually see it uh, face to face. Mm -hmm. And like he's saying, this partnership with with Pilate, mm -hmm. with Rome. I mean, that that's what was happening, right? right. The high priest in the first century was appointed by Rome. Right, right. Not from the, necessarily from the line uh, of Aaron and, you know, that God appointed, mm -hmm. but that Rome appointed. Right. So that's, that ain't right. It's messy. You know, yeah, I mean, that's messed up. why people left Israel and started this community at Qumran mm -hmm. and where they say, you know, the Essenes lived Right. And created this whole other Jewish community because they said that the temple was corrupted. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so, and that's where actually scholars say most likely that John the Baptist came from was mm -hmm. that Qumran yeah. uh, or Essene like community Radical in the community. wilderness yeah. where he was what? Preparing the way yeah. of the Lord, making straight mm -hmm. a path where? Yeah, in the wilderness. In the wilderness. Yeah. You're kind of seeing too this like unholy unity, right? Of the you know, the Sanhedrin or mm -hmm. the of the Pharisees, the Sadducees, and then also Rome. Yeah. Uh, which is you see that throughout the biblical narrative of mm -hmm. unity is an important thing in the family of God. It's like of utmost importance. Um, but then there's also this counterfeit to it where right. like even in Psalm 2 you see it like the nations are, are raging against the mm -hmm. Lord and against his anointed because he's installed him on Mount Zion, right? And there's this like you see it a couple times throughout scripture of this mm -hmm. unholy banding together against right. the Lord's anointed. I also love the little seeds you're seeing of like even just this pause frame that we're seeing right here. You got this Roman soldier and you've got this you know, religious leader guy looking on at Jesus and there were some that were turning towards him, right? right? Even even of the Romans, even of the of the Sanhedrin, like there were these guys that were like, no, oh, this yeah. this guy's the real deal. Mm -hmm. And so those are like these so beautiful moments. Right. Um, you know, we've seen it a little bit in past seasons, but um I my guess is that's what they're alluding to here. It's mm -hmm. like this, you know, even in the even it's in good. deception, there is like Right. This chance to come to the light. I just can't stop seeing how we could be doing things faster and more efficiently. You deserve a stipend for your specialized work. You can at least make sure that you have resources to keep the mission going. My ledgers are in the red. I told you to make life difficult for the followers of Jesus. It is on this rock that I will build my church. Mm. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. I love that scene. Mm -hmm. And so I'm really excited to see how Me they do too. it. Because it's like, it's like just bold 
it's, it's a, a bold moment. move. It's a moment. Yeah, yeah. So, and then you know the the situation surrounding that is is them kind of realizing that he's the Messiah, right? Right? Like Jesus or Peter's saying, like, "You are the Messiah, the Son of the Living God," mm-hmm. right? And so it's like eye opening, and this is what he's here to do, right? So this is like game changer moment, you know, pivotal moment. Yeah. We've talked about even this as being an authoritative move. It is, yeah. You know, transferring authority from, you know, the Sanhedrin to the disciples. Right. So no, it's all about authority mm-hmm. because Yeshua in this same scene at Caesarea Philippi, he says that, you know, whatever is bound in heaven will be bound on the mm-hmm. earth, and whatever is loosed in heaven will be loosed on the earth. Right. And he's giving them the keys mm-hmm. to the kingdom. Right. And keys equal authority, right? Right. Right. Keys give you the authority to open mm-hmm. and to close, right. right? Right. So I mean, this is this is definitely uh, a blessing mm-hmm. now of the authority of God coming to Peter and the boys, right? Which makes sense because if the if the current religious leadership mm-hmm. of Israel, yeah, doesn't recognize the King of Israel, right? Well, how could the king of Israel continue to give them authority to rule on his behalf? Yeah. You have to recognize the king of Israel mm-hmm. in order to have the authority of the king of Israel. For sure. Yeah. So this is why that's what when you say he's the Messiah, mm-hmm. the son of the living God. Right. Messiah is what? King. Anointed king, yeah. It means Mashiach means anointed one. Messiah yeah. means anointed one. Christ yeah. is the same word. It means yeah. anointed one, meaning king Mm. right so good so it's all about his kingship here Mm. this infernal chaos oh wow wow there's the triumphal entry yeah that i mean (laughs) talk about a scene i'm excited (laughs) for real to see how they portray it i mean yeshua coming into jerusalem Mm -hmm. uh on a donkey and you could see the the palm branches Mm -hmm. so the People in Jerusalem are thinking, this is Sukkot. Right. This yeah. is the Feast of Tabernacles mm-hmm. because the Messiah is coming. They were mm-hmm. thinking that the Messiah was coming right. uh, at the Feast of Tabernacles, the wedding right. banquet. Right. Doesn't matter what time of year it is. Let's get some palm branches. Right. Yeah. So they're like climbing trees, <laughs> get the palm branches. Yeah. Let's start waving them because that's mm-hmm. what you would do according to mm-hmm. Leviticus 23. Yeah. So they're saying what? Hosanna to the son of David, or yeah. Hoshiana in Hebrew, which means please, please save, save us. us. Yeah. This is this cry by the people mm-hmm. to say, save us, King David. Yeah. Son of David, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Baruch Bashem Adonai. Yeah. Why can no one control these people? What just happened to all of you? It's about to get worse. Now that I'm here, physical death does not interrupt our eternal life. Mm. Wow. Lazarus! Mm. Come out! <gasps> oh, 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 <laughs> You can, when that, when the, 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 the shadow comes, it's like, you can feel it. <laughs> I've watched it twice now. I, I felt it both times. Oh I'm gosh. like, whoa. The first time I, we, we watched it, I was like overwhelmed. The yeah. second time I got just real excited. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's great. I mean, they're, they're just like. They're, Resurrection power. There's nothing like, there's nothing like that. Resurrection power. So we're just talking about authority, mm-hmm. right? And then we're talking about he's he's going to Caesarea Philippi, saying the gates of hell will not prevail against my church, my ecclesia. But then he's demonstrating the kingdom and power, and saying not even death can hold right. uh, hold this kingdom back, right? And later after he resurrects, he's the one that holds the keys to death and Hades. Right. He's just demonstrating the kingdom, and just I mean, gosh, he's just he's just the best. That's so. Good. <laughs> The keys of death and Hades, yeah, right, yeah. is what? Resurrection power. Yeah, yeah. Oh, death, where is your sting, right? right? I mean, he's, I mean, who can do that? Mm-hmm. Like, that's why we follow that king. Yep. That's our God. Yep. Right? There's all these other gods in the, the pantheon in Greek mythology, including Hades, mm-hmm. 
and Zeus right. and Apollo and on and on and on, right? Yeah. But who has the power Nobody <laughs> over else. death, this Nobody resurrection else. life? I, I, For some reason, I don't know that I ever pictured like his disciples rolling the stone away. And that was cool. So I like, I liked, I don't know why I, that, mm-hmm. that stuck out. That's just a, a really beautiful picture mm-hmm. of, you know, partnering with the Lord and I don't know, very practical, right? right. They had to open the tomb. The way they <laughs> depict uh, Simon Peter throughout The Chosen, mm-hmm. it would make sense that he would run up there, oh, oh yeah, I'll totally get that, you know? <laughs> right? And because he's always with the t- uh, cut off sleeves, so he's yeah. like, yeah, I'll tell, I got, yeah. let me, uh, yeah. let me go get that for you. <laughs> Another way. Mm. And looking back, I do too. I still don't know why it has to be this way. The bitter often mingled with the sweet. You told us it would be like that. With how you lived. The man of sorrows. Mm. Acquainted with grief. Mm. Wow. He was born for this. Yeah. But it's so painful to watch. Oh, I think man. that's where, you know, oh, it's yeah. like it's so wrong. Right. And yet it's so right. Mm-hmm. I mean, you couldn't, it couldn't. <laughs> It couldn't be more emotional. That's why this is a story of all stories because right. it, it it couldn't be more emotional because <laughs> these two opposite emotions are happening at the exact <laughs> same time, yep. and they're both true. Like yes. to understand yes. the biblical text, to understand God and your yeah. relationship with Him, you have to believe in paradox. Right. This is the ultimate paradox, and paradox in Greek literally means beyond belief. Hmm. Meaning it requires faith. <laughs> oh, wow. You you have to have faith to yeah. believe yeah. that something so wrong is also so right mm-hmm. that he could be fully God and fully man. Yeah. Right? I mean this paradox is mm-hmm. is the this ultimate right. story of stories. Right. And then they're they're bringing in this uh, theme from Isaiah of the suffering servant, right? Right, like the, the Yeshua had to be this suffering servant, right. and then we see in like the book of Hebrews that he's this great high priest, well acquainted, and that he can be our great high priest because he right. walked as a man and yet was without sin. He's right. prophet, priest, king, sacrifice, right. the whole thing. Yeah, he's lion and the lamb. Yeah. Which is, again, it's paradox. It's right. this roaring, conquering, Davidic lion, mm-hmm. and he's the lamb. He's the son of Joseph, the suffering one, yeah. but also son of David, mm-hmm. king of Israel. Right. And what then, a story. And then you get to the book of Revelation, and you see this lamb who looks as though he's been slain, but he's this triumphant lamb. Right. Just like... Yeah, like like a like a living paradox right there. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like there's right. this a conquering lamb. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, That's right. What? Follow the lamb yeah. wherever he goes. Amen. If you like our videos, and you should. <laughs> please make a donation and help us spread a biblical messianic worldview. <laughs> My hands don't. There's too much friction when you're pressing too hard. <laughs> <laughs> like, what's he? What's he? What's he doing? <laughs> I think he's baking bread. <laughs>